Live as if each day were your last, an ancient statement. But can this philosophy truly guide our lives today? And what if I told you that Marcus Aurelius, the ancient Roman emperor, held the keys to a fulfilling and resilient life? Seems distant, right? In this video, we'll uncover how the Stoic philosopher's advice can revolutionize your perspective on challenges, gratitude, and resilience. Get ready for a journey into the mind of one of history's greatest thinkers and discover how his teachings can shape our present. It's a pleasure to have you here. Stick with me. Let's go together. First advice, live as if each day were your last. This is more than just a beautiful phrase. It's a philosophy that reminds us of the preciousness of the present. Marcus Aurelius, the great Stoic philosopher, taught us to cherish each moment as if it were unique. This means being truly present, not just physically, but mentally. Imagine this. When you wake up in the morning, take a deep breath and feel the energy of the new day. Be grateful for being alive and having the chance to make a difference. Don't worry about tomorrow or cling to yesterday. Focus on the now. In practice, this could mean unplugging from your phone during breakfast and enjoying the company of family, or taking a stroll in the park and admiring the beauty of nature around us. It's the little moments that build a meaningful life. The Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius reminds us, waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. Be one. So stop postponing happiness. It's here and now, within your reach. Embrace your loved ones. Smile at a stranger. Feel the warm sun on your face. Life is made up of simple and precious moments. Appreciating them is an art that connects us with our humanity and reminds us of the ephemeral nature of life. So, the next time you feel rushed or anxious, take a deep breath, look around, and remember, this moment is all we really have. Live it fully. Stoic second advice. Your thoughts are powerful and your happiness depends on them. Our thoughts wield incredible power over our quality of life, and Marcus Aurelius, the wise Roman emperor, understood this well. He reminds us that we are what we think, and our minds have the power to shape our reality. Consider this. When you wake up in the morning, the first thing you think sets the tone for the rest of the day. If you wake up thinking positively, you're more likely to find joy in the little things. On the other hand, if your thoughts are negative, you may end up feeling overwhelmed and unhappy. So, how do we cultivate positive thoughts? Marcus Aurelius reminds us to focus on what's within our control. Instead of worrying about what we cannot change, focus on what we can do to improve our situation. Practicing daily gratitude is a powerful way to steer our thoughts toward the positive. A change in perspective also plays a crucial role in our happiness. Marcus Aurelius teaches us to see challenges as opportunities for growth and learning. Instead of being obstacles, they can be springboards to a more meaningful life. Therefore, the next time you find yourself thinking negatively, remember Marcus Aurelius's words. Our life is what our thoughts make it. Cultivate thoughts that uplift your soul and remember the power you have to shape your own happiness. Third advice from Marcus Aurelius. Be grateful for everything you have. Gratitude is like a balm for the soul, and in Marcus Aurelius's Stoic philosophy, it is seen as a key to true happiness. Marcus Aurelius reminds us that even amidst adversities, there is always something to be grateful for. It's a shift in perspective that allows us to see the blessings in our lives, even in difficult times. So what does it mean to be grateful? It means acknowledging the small things that often go unnoticed, a warm smile, a beautiful sunset, the kindness of a stranger. Practicing gratitude daily can be as simple as keeping a gratitude journal, where you jot down three things you're grateful for every day. Gratitude also has the power to transform our outlook on challenges. Instead of focusing on what's lacking in our lives, we begin to value what we have. Obstacles become opportunities for growth and learning and difficulties are seen as tests of our resilience. Marcus Aurelius reminds us, the more grateful you are, the more reasons you have to be grateful. So the next time you feel disheartened or overwhelmed, take a moment to reflect on the blessings in your life. Gratitude not only brings a sense of inner peace, but also connects us with what truly matters. Fourth teaching, obstacles and challenges cannot stop you. 
Obstacles and challenges are part of life's journey, and Marcus Aurelius's Stoic philosophy offers a powerful perspective on how to face them. For the Stoics, obstacles are opportunities for growth and personal development. Marcus Aurelius reminds us that it is not the difficulties themselves that define us, but rather, how we choose to face them. So, how can we face obstacles resiliently? A fundamental strategy is to accept the reality of the situation and focus on what is within our control. Instead of allowing ourselves to be consumed by worry about what we cannot change, we should direct our energy towards taking constructive steps to address the challenges. Moreover, it is important to remember that resilience is not just about resisting difficulties, but also about learning and growing from them. Inspiring stories of overcoming adversity show us that even the most seemingly insurmountable obstacles can be conquered with determination and perseverance. Marcus Aurelius teaches us, what knocks us down strengthens our resolve. Every obstacle we face makes us stronger and more prepared for the challenges that lie ahead. So the next time you encounter an obstacle, remember that you have within you the strength and resilience needed to overcome it. Fifth, be prepared for any outcome. Being prepared for any outcome and acting with resilience is a valuable skill that we can all develop. And Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher, offers powerful insights on how to do so. For Stoics, mental preparedness for adversities is essential for facing life's challenges with courage and serenity. The importance of a prepared mind lies in the fact that life is full of uncertainties and unforeseen events. By acknowledging the volatile nature of the world around us, we can strengthen ourselves internally to deal with whatever fate may hold for us. Resilience, then, is the ability to adapt and recover in the face of adversities. It is manifested in practice when we confront setbacks with calmness and determination, refusing to be defeated by circumstances. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, what stands in the way becomes the way. Dealing with uncertainty constructively involves accepting that we cannot always control the course of events, but we can control our response to them. This means cultivating a flexible and open mindset, ready to adapt to life's twists and turns without losing composure. Therefore, the next time you encounter uncertainty, remember the words of Marcus Aurelius and find strength in mental preparedness and inner resilience. Ultimately, it is our ability to adapt and grow in the face of adversity that allows us to thrive regardless of circumstances. Sixth advice from Marcus Aurelius. Turn your anger into something productive. Anger is a natural emotion that we all experience at some point, and Marcus Aurelius, the wise Roman emperor, teaches us to handle it constructively. Instead of suppressing or denying anger, we should learn to channel it into something productive. To begin with, it's important to understand that anger itself is neither good nor bad. It's like a flame that can either consume or illuminate, depending on how we direct it. Marcus Aurelius reminds us, when you are offended with anger, remember that it's only your ego that has been struck. An effective strategy for channeling anger constructively is to practice deep breathing and reflection. This allows us to pause before reacting impulsively and gives us time to consider the best response options. Furthermore, we can turn the emotional energy of anger into positive action. For example, instead of taking out our feelings on someone, we can channel our anger into activities like physical exercise, journaling, or working on a creative project. It's important to remember that anger doesn't have to control us. We can choose how to respond to it. By learning to direct our anger into something constructive, we can turn a negative emotion into an opportunity for personal growth and self-discovery. Seventh advice, acceptance of reality. Accepting reality is a powerful skill that leads us to inner peace, and Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher, guides us on this journey of self-discovery. For Stoics, acceptance doesn't mean passive resignation, but rather recognizing and embracing the true nature of things. Reflecting on acceptance is like opening the windows of the soul to let the light in. Marcus Aurelius reminds us, do not let your mind become something it is not, but at the same time, do not worry about what others say, think, or do. When dealing with situations beyond our control, acceptance offers us a secure anchor. Instead of fighting against the tide, 
we learn to swim with it, flowing gently with the ups and downs of life. True liberation of the mind comes when we embrace reality without resistance. This means letting go of our expectations and desires and simply accepting what is. When we stop struggling against the inevitable, we find a deep serenity that permeates all areas of our life. So, the next time you find yourself facing a challenging situation, remember the words of Marcus Aurelius and allow yourself to accept what is. In acceptance, we find the key to true inner freedom and peace that transcends external circumstances. We learn to live each day fully, cultivate positive thoughts, practice gratitude, face obstacles with resilience, be prepared for whatever comes, transform our anger into constructive action, and accept reality with serenity. These pieces of advice are not just beautiful words. They are guides to a more meaningful and fulfilling life. By applying these teachings in our daily lives, we can become more resilient, compassionate, and authentic. Now, it's time to take action. If you found value in these ideas, don't forget to subscribe for more inspiring content. Remember that true transformation begins within ourselves. Until the next journey of self-discovery, may we continue to seek wisdom and personal growth inspired by the teachings of Marcus Aurelius and other wise figures throughout history. Warm regards.